How may I help you, Commander? Oh yeah, I've got your brandy, baby. I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glass. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, that was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Frolic Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or hell. Maybe it's you, Shepard. Our immovable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that? To the ornery bastard who flies this ship. The best fighter jockey to ever take to the sky. Get some sleep, Chakwas. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking drunk too. Oh, and here she is, ripe for the ripen. Ripe for the ripen! <laughs> fucking skeleton hand. Ripe for the raping. Oh, oh Chakwas. 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 <laughs> you can totally see your bus, though. Why do they need that detail? <laughs> like, she's a grandma. Okay? She's a fucking grandma. Jesus.